transform your body one bite at a time. Ready to lose weight? It all starts with small, manageable changes that add up over time. It's easier than you think. You don't need to overhaul your entire lifestyle overnight. You don't need a fancy diet. Just focus on making healthier choices with the foods you already enjoy. You can start by changing just one thing. Maybe it's swapping out soda for water or choosing a piece of fruit instead of a sugary snack. Give up one food that you eat too much. That's it. This small step can make a big difference. When you cut out unhealthy foods, you eat fewer calories. This helps you feel better and have more energy. This helps you slim down and feel more confident in your own skin. It's a simple idea that really works. Keeping track of your progress can keep you motivated. This isn't about starving yourself. It's about nourishing your body with the right foods. It's about making smart choices. Learn to read labels and understand what you're putting into your body. We'll talk about foods that can sabotage your weight loss. Text overlay, candy, text overlay, alcohol, text overlay, white bread, text overlay, cheese, and text overlay red meat can all be a problem, but you don't have to eliminate them completely. Don't worry, you don't have to give up everything you love, it's all about balance and moderation. We'll show you how to enjoy these foods in moderation. You can still indulge without derailing your progress. Are you ready to take control of your health? Let's get started. Together we can make lasting changes that lead to a healthier, happier you. Sweet Temptations Candy's Hidden Calories Candy is delicious, but it's loaded with sugar. Sugar has lots of calories but no nutrients. That means empty calories. When you eat candy your blood sugar spikes. You feel energized for a little while. Then you crash, you feel tired and hungry again. This cycle can lead to overeating. You crave more sugar so you eat more candy. It's a vicious cycle. But there's good news. When you cut out candy, you break this cycle. Your cravings will decrease. You'll start to feel more energized. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel. Cutting back on alcohol. Did you know that alcohol has a lot of calories? It's true. And those calories add up quickly. Alcohol can also make you hungrier. You're more likely to overeat when you drink. This can lead to weight gain. But there's more. Alcohol can also disrupt your sleep. When you don't sleep well, your body produces more of the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol can make it harder to lose weight, so cutting back on alcohol can help you sleep better and manage your weight. It's a win-win. The white bread trap. Empty calories, real consequences. White bread is a staple in many diets, but it's not doing your waistline any favors. Despite its popularity, it lacks the essential nutrients your body needs to function optimally. Like candy, White bread is made from refined grains stripped of their nutrients. The refining process removes the bran and germ, leaving behind only the starchy endosperm. This leaves you with a product that's high in calories and low in fiber. Consuming such empty calories can lead to weight gain and other health issues over time. Fiber is essential for a healthy digestive system and helps you feel full and satisfied. It aids in digestion, prevents constipation, and can even help lower cholesterol levels. Without it, you're more likely to experience those dreaded blood sugar spikes and crashes, leading to increased cravings and overeating. These fluctuations can make you feel tired and irritable, prompting you to reach for more unhealthy snacks. The good news is that there are plenty of delicious and healthy alternatives to white bread. Try whole grain bread, which retains the bran and germ, providing more nutrients and fiber, or even portobello mushrooms as a bun replacement. These options not only add variety to your meals but also contribute to better overall health. So next time you're making a sandwich, think beyond white bread and opt for a more nutritious choice. Say cheese? Not so fast. Unveiling cheese's downsides. Cheese can be a delicious treat, but it's high in calories and fat. It's also easy to overeat. A small serving of cheese can quickly turn into a large serving. This can sabotage your weight loss efforts. If you're trying to lose weight, it's best to limit your cheese intake. There are plenty of other healthy and delicious foods that you can enjoy. Try incorporating more plant-based protein sources such as beans, lentils, and tofu into your diet. Red meat, friend or foe on your weight loss journey. Red meat can be a part of a healthy diet, but it's important to choose lean cuts and to limit your intake. Opt for cuts like sirloin, tenderloin, or round, which are lower in fat compared to other cuts. Red meat is high in saturated fat which can raise your cholesterol levels. Trimming visible fat and avoiding processed red meats can help reduce this risk. High cholesterol can increase your risk of heart disease. It's crucial to balance your diet with other heart-healthy foods. If you eat red meat, aim for no more than 3 to 4 ounces per serving. This helps in managing calorie intake and maintaining a balanced diet. That's about the size of a deck of cards. 
Keeping portions in check is key to a healthy diet. You can also try incorporating more plant-based protein sources into your diet. These alternatives can provide essential nutrients without the added saturated fat. Beans, lentils, tofu, and tempeh are all excellent sources of protein and fiber. They can be used in a variety of dishes, making them versatile and nutritious options for your meals. Small steps, big rewards, your path to success. You don't have to give up all your favorite foods to lose weight. Start by making small changes. Cut out one unhealthy food at a time. Once you've mastered that, you can move on to another food. Remember, consistency is key. Don't get discouraged if you slip up occasionally. Just get back on track and keep going. You can do this. And remember to leave a comment below if you found this video essay helpful. We'd love to hear from you.